Hey there everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back guys, welcome back. Let me get this a little bit better. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So, how are you guys all doing? So obviously we are back on PV Wolf Creek by Mr. Dajnet. So let's get into the game and see what we're up to. So we're doing a little bit of um, noisy work to start off with. Alright, so let's get out of here. That should be fine for the minute. Hopefully all you guys are having a great Friday so far. Let me just exercise it. That one. There we go. Alrighty. Bit of in-cab work this time. There we go. Right then. So it is obviously Friday, the second of September. Obviously, Mr. Dajnet will be going live in a couple of hours. Doing a bit of hopefully a bit of farm sim. Just a quick note regarding that is obviously on Tuesday next week, Giants have announced that they will be releasing uh, some new free content for the game. Obviously, if you don't know anything about that, go over to the Giants website and check out their blogs. Um, but basically, what it is is going to be in introducing the brand new Valtra Q series to the game. And they're also adding back in the um, A series, the R series, and T, I think it is, or A N T series. Billy is a nuisance. Hey! We'll be gone in two oh, weeks. Please, how I you apologize doing? for this inconvenience. Welcome, and actually, I should really jump in Discord and we could have a chat with Mr. NBC Master Dad and Mr. Dajnet. Yeah, but how you doing, Oppies? And. Right, I need to drop some of these off. Uh, the carpenters first of all. Then whatever's left, I'll put either into storage or to pallets production. Doing pretty good, thanks. Doing pretty good, that is for sure. Right, well, let me actually just stop there one second. Jo oh, the brakes on these trucks are terrible. Stop! 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 stop. Holy heck! My goodness, I think I'm going to, have to modify one of these. To have some slightly better brakes on them, or see if Mr. Reaper's still got his Mac. Right, let's jump into Discord because I do see Mr. Dajnet and Mr. NBC there. Yeah, these guys. Hello. There he is. How you guys doing? Well, you know, I was wondering if you were gonna ever show up. Nah. <laughs> you guys are really lucky. You're lucky. You're you're lucky I didn't want to pick on you today because I told Dave when you jump in we should jump out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, you terrible. How we doing, Mister Alpaca? I am not too bad, thanks. And you? Oh, Very about the same. Bad. About the same. Ah. Not too shabby. Yeah, so I was just mentioning um, there is some fact sheets out today as well. Um, Did you get the ones? The, the ones that dropped at noon? Are the Valtteris? Okay. The what yeah, time is it? The, the Valtteris. No, there, no. should there should be something dropping real soon. Really? Yeah. yeah. I can't. I'm not supposed to say anything, but... I don't know. I haven't seen anything else yet. Well, I think it was... Yeah, they C said... Kind of be an in and out six, most of the day, so... Yeah, they, they said, said six, six their time, so... Six my, I could show it, but... Apparently well, are they, they five haven't... hours ahead of us right now or six? I think they're five. five so it may not be well, to one o'clock. Or what time is it there for you? Well, it's just gone five o'clock for me, so it'll be six o'clock for them. If it's from Germany. Yeah. That... Okay. Yeah, That's it should be any time. Really? Any time you see it drop. Yeah. There, you got the first notice here. Yeah. I could show it right now, but I'm not going to do the field and all that. Yeah. Yeah. It's on the website. Is it? Can't tell you. Can't tell you. We'd have to slap you. And I'm in the slapping mood. Oh, okay. So they've they've also dropped that over there. Okay. Have you seen it already? There's the. Where is it? Just gone on the Giants website, and it's shown the pumps and hoses first set of fact sheets. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Just pull those up. Out. Uh see, I don't want to show Nobody's these off. Seen it's Mr. Dave and and him. Come ahead. Are you sure? You only oh, got okay. nine people watching, and two, three of them are union. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> right, so 
<laughs> oh, well, thank you very, very much for your loyalty. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through these. I'll let Dave go through it all properly later, because obviously I'm sure he's got better fact sheets. But obviously, on Tuesday, we do have um, the Q series from Valtra coming out. This is a brand new tractor that Valtra have actually released real in real life. Um, obviously, it's going to be sort of a high-end medium tractor. From what I can see regarding the horsepower, it's like 230 to 305 horsepower. Obviously, comparing that against what's currently in game, it's sort of that medium bracket. Looks really quite nice, actually, to be honest. Yeah, probably should have been in a DLC. Okay. Yeah, the th <laughs> yeah, definitely. What they're also they doing. Better stuff for free than and I was. It is crazy. Also, obviously, with. For any of you guys who played FS19, obviously we, we had um like the the base game vultures. Obviously we've got a couple at the minute, but obviously they are bringing back. There you go. So it's the A series, the N series, and the T. Should remember that ant. Um, I loved using some of these tractors because obviously you can reverse the um, driving seat, so you can actually drive backwards. They're kind of cool. Obviously they're going to be the added back. Is the one we use in FSL for no Quick change. question. Are they mm -hmm. models they already had pre-released because they won't make you pay for anything that was in last two years? Yeah, so these I were base game last year. For the Q. Yeah. If they were base game last year, then that's why they couldn't make Yeah, so the, yeah, the A, N, and T were all base game last year. Obviously the A being the smallest, and then I think the T was like a high-end, medium to low-end... Um, large tractor but i think the q actually looking at the specs on that is actually s the next one up from the t so yeah a little bit more power with that little beast but it does look nice um there is ba -ba -ba -bum, and i don't know if this is going to work obviously dave and mbc are low they're yeah i turned them down because they were very loud but i can put them back up if need be um ba -ba -ba -bum. You were screaming. There you go. I'm never loud. I'll try around about there for a minute. Talking about. If you've got like a smartphone that does QR um, code scanning, give it a try. It, it is a bit naff, but it does give you a rough idea of what it's going to look like in game. The only thing I found was um, the windows are very opaque, I suppose is the best way. They're very white um, textures in it. The chrome and stuff like that, the stainless steel wasn't showing up properly, but it, eh, it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. It's quite a nice little tractor. That's very blurry, that one. A bit disappointed in that picture, but yeah, it is obviously based on the brand new Valtra, which is coming out. They've got a nice little one there. I want that. That little Valtra. But yeah, obviously, I'm, I'll let Dave show you the video, but that's that one. And just re recently dropped on here is obviously fact sheets for pumps and hoses. I'm just going to quickly go through this. Obviously, we've got the shooting hose pallet, which is this thing. Obviously, I guess you fill up your shooting PU300 with that, I guess, or run it from that. Because so I think this, this is basically a manure pump. Obviously, the pipes itself will go from 100 meters to 500 meters. So, obviously, do the conversion if you work in different. Um, obviously, the pump. Oh, I have no idea about these. I don't know if I'm even going to be using these, but you never know. Um, obviously, it's a f 200 horsepower pump. Um, has a capacity of 2,800 liters. I'm not sure what the thousand meters means is that as far as it will go i suppose that's the real how much you can actually fit on the reel in one go on that also you're getting the shooting bs 900 which is going to be your jobby that goes on the back of your tank for cultivating and injecting your manure into the ground obviously it's a nine meter work width will cost you 45,600 whatever in-game money you're using obviously just set up as euros it needs a hundred horsepower to run and will run at nine miles per hour or 15 kilometers per hour work speed 
on that. And obviously you're getting the shooting HS5100, which attaches the tool carrier to the tractor. First to be able to attach tools using... Yeah, okay. I have no idea what the heck that thing's for, but I'm sure we'll figure it out once we actually get hold of it and actually have a little play around. Looks like it just attaches to the front of your tractor, maybe like an additional um, way of filling up, I have no idea. But we'll find that out soon. Obviously it is a 50 horsepower unit and will cost you 45500 for that. A couple more. Also got some BGA stuff here, so obviously you've got the Stall Camp Manure Pit. Obviously that's going to be that bin at the back. If this is the one from the videos, I'm kind of interested to see whether it raises up or not. Because I know some of them looked like they were just raising up, unless it was just replacing the models. That's kind of interested me. Um, obviously the capacity wise will vary, depending on the size you get, but you get from 952,000 litres which is a smaller one, up to 3,599,000 litres. So, yeah, interesting. Obviously, the price range is from 66,000 to 178,000. And obviously, that'll be holding your, um, like your liquid manure digestate pit type thing. Also, they've got a separator um, tower placeable. These are both placeables, by the way. And it looks like you're going to get some manure as an output as well from your liquid manure and digest it maybe. I'm not sure how that works. But obviously it's got 20,000 litre capacity and will cost you 40,000 for that tiny little thing. Hmm. Interesting. And then obviously finally for the current fact sheets, we've got the BVL VBio30, which is... Da, 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 just reading that. So it's going to be your fermenting bin. So it's this little thing at the front where you drop your products into it, into the biogas plant. It's got a 30,000 litre capacity and will cost you 78,300. And then obviously you've got this machine on the end here, which is the 2G Agenitor 408. I won't pronounce that. I am terrible at pronunciations, it's terrible. And obviously this is going to be producing your methane. Hmm, okay. Or separating the methane, I suppose, would be the best way to put it. And obviously it's got um, 30, what's that, 3,600 EC. So electrical current coming from that. Oops, my bad. And then it's obviously going to cost you 360,000 for that. Hmm. Never actually used one of them in game yet. So yeah, that is what's going to be coming. Obviously, I'm sure Mr. Dave can run over all that again a little bit later. So, maybe. maybe. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go back to the game. Let me move that out of my way. Cool. All right, I want a few more people in before I start showing something off. Oh, let me do that, do that, do that. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of this first of all. There is something I need to show you guys if you missed um, the stream the other day. Obviously, I know Dave kind of showed it off in his on Tuesday. But it's basically going to be for those who have played PV County, if you remember the shell stations on there. I've actually gone through and converted them to 22 and made a little diesel storage place out of them. Right, there we go, come on, take it, take it, take it. Let me do it. Um. Thanks for the sub! And at Linux, how are you doing, buddy? Thank you very, very much for the resub for six months. How have you been, sir? Great to see you back. There we go. I really should get a little forklift or something brought down here. I don't know. Alright, let's close that window while I think about it. We'll just 
drop this off and then I'll take a little drive and show you guys what I've been up to. Don't know if Mr. NBC's seen it yet. So maybe a new one for him as well. Come on, take it all, take it all. Hmm. This undo. Things that make you go, hmm. Yeah. Mr. J, how you doing, buddy? And good morning to you too. Okay. You don't want to play, ha? Huh? Okay. Thinking yeah. about joining partners with the makers of Fix It Farming and Refined Power. All right. Okay. They have a partner thing. They do, they do. Um, comes with a bunch of benefits and stuff like that, but you also get um, early access to all their mods and stuff. I mean, obviously, it's a pay thing, so seven fifty a month. Uh, let me give you a shout out. You get to develop. Developmental DJ. builds. Yep, so make sure hey, to go check check out Two by Two Ministries. He's doing some awesome streams over there. Helps out the community a lot around where he lives and stuff. Definitely well worth checking him out when he goes live. Obviously, he's been playing a bit of Medieval Dynasty as well, but also does a lot of different games. And actually, while I'm typing away here, I'm going to do one for Mister. If I can spell his name right. Mr. Dajnet, who's in chat with us at the minute. Obviously, he tends to do a lot of farm sim streams, but obviously lately he's been doing a few other games, showing them off, like obviously Call of the Wild, the Angler, the other day. Um, how do you get on with that, anyway, thinking about it? I like it. I, I haven't played it because I'm stuck in Medieval Dynasty, <laughs> other than my stream. <laughs> but I definitely am looking forward to if I ever burn out on this one. Yeah, I'm not big on fishing games to be honest, but it's nice to watch, maybe just listen to everyone's comments because obviously it is a brand new game come out. Well, that's really why I wanted are, to do it. Um, comparing it to like um, other fishing games, which I think is the wrong approach to a game. Um, but while I'm at it, I'll do one for Mr. NBC, who's also in chat with us. Oh, you didn't have to do that, buddy. Yes, I did. You are no, both you legends, did. in my opinion, so... <laughs> yeah. Whoa, wait a minute, no. Yes, you Dave are. is a legend. I'm You're just somebody legends. that shows up. Stop. <laughs> I'm a legend. I'm yeah. a legend in my own mind. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, I'm... Obviously, because obviously I, was, I have been listening to, obviously, like Dave, Dave's stream. I actually finally, finally got around to finish watching his Wednesday stream um, earlier. Obviously, I've been watching Mr. Wheels and stuff like that, and obviously a lot of the comments are coming through have been quite negative really but i think that the biggest reason for that is obviously people are comparing to like fishing planet and um i'm trying to think what the other, was it russian fishing or whatever it's called or something like that and that's the wrong approach really is, is to um to play the game as a brand new like you've never fished in that, any other game before that's kind of how you should approach most games, really, I think, in my opinion. Thanks for the sub! Yep. And Mr. NBC, thank you very much for the resub for nine months. Not a problem. Much, much appreciated. Obviously, by the way, for any of you guys who weren't aware, any subscriptions, donations, bits for this, um, for August, and I actually want to include today, actually, is actually going to my daughter. Obviously, it was her the summer holidays. It's come to an an end now. Um, on uh, uh, technically Monday, she should be going back to school, but they've um, got work online for the Monday, so it's going to be Tuesday that she actually goes back. But yeah, everything that's been done over um, the August, basically summer holiday type thing, will be going to her. So, yay! 
all your little subscriptions and stuff is definitely going straight to her. Right then, now we've got a few more people in here. Um, I'm going to show it off actually. Let me park this up a sec. Park it up around here. See, like I said, it is a diesel fuel storage basically. So, take this off because I do need to fill it in or fill it up, I should say. So, I wanted to try and figure out a place to put it down on this map. So, obviously, there's going to be two coming one a small individual place ball, and then there's another one which is a lot bigger, um, which I will show off shortly. Oh, by the way, Billy, if anybody's asking, I did push an update last night. Did you? I had okay. to update. Yeah, I had to take everything from the community pack and switch for the stuff that I had built into the map to oh, get right, rid of entertainment, okay. you know, stuff like that. So. Well, don't tell everybody because they'll want to get the update. <laughs> it's all good now. <laughs> okay. Right. So, yeah, for any of you guys who didn't hear that, Mr. NBC did push an update to NBC Acres last night through the mod folder switcher, so make sure you get that downloaded and updated. Um, while we're driving, actually, what I did do is I went through all the factory placeables and st stuff for the map, World Creek anyway, um, found about 20 um, that needed updating because they were showing in the contracts in the self uh, menu, which they shouldn't. So I've obviously updated them, sent them all to Dave. Uh, save him a bit of time. I wish these trucks were a bit faster as well. Did you really save him time now, or did you create more work for him? <laughs> well, he's, he's been having fun with fishing and all these other games, so yeah. Saved him a bit. There's time. other games? If you do it, then that's alright. <laughs> he's seeming these other games. Actually, I did try and um, play Satisfactory last night, but I just could not get my head into it. I don't know why. The minute it they pushed a huge update on the 30th. Yeah, I found that out yesterday. They fixed, uh, yeah, they, uh, well, I found it out this morning when I was messing around with it. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah, I died about five times and thought, oh, bugger that, I'm jumping off. Five times? How'd you yeah. die five times? Freaking, um... Spitters. Who dies five? Who dies five times in Satisfactory? Plus, it kept falling off of um, some high um, areas. Not good. Kept falling off your high horse. Yeah. I was gonna say the same thing, but you know. <laughs> right then, nearly there, nearly there, guys. So I've been doing a little bit of landscaping around here, just to try and tidy up a little bit. I think it's not too bad so far. Um, one thing I am looking for is some lo um, long trailer, uh, what's it called, parking bays for trucks with trailers. So let me pull it in here a sec. So obviously here we go. So this is going to be one of the placeables. So for anyone that did play PV County, you'll recognize it straight away. Obviously this is the one that was right next to the vehicles um, shop when you spawn your vehicles in. And it is literally just a uh, storage for your diesel if you want to or your fuel whatever you want to call it obviously this is where you're going to be dropping off which i'll do in just a sec one thing you can do is actually buy it um if you wanted to if you don't want to transport it you could actually buy it just come off to the wrench click the of the r key and you can actually buy it obviously to fill it up it, it is going to take 250,000 liters obviously it's going to be quite expensive to be honest but obviously if you've got the um shell placeable producing one what you can actually do is grab a tanker and transport it over to wherever you want it. And if I can drive a little bit better, I should have grab my other truck, truck I think. So you just drive over this area here, there's a little trigger, which should pop up there. And you can unload straight into the tank there, as it were. Actually, it was the Meridian that I used as an initial. Um, base to work this on. Then to refill, thankfully I do need to top up. 
what you can actually do is anywhere on the forecourt here it's quite a large trigger you can just drive straight onto it hit the old R key obviously I did it up the fill as you've seen that was quite quick fill in what you can then do is just drive in a little bit more if you wanted to fill up your tank and there you go just like that you have fuel in your fuel station so it's very much realistic Put that back in there just I was just really to show you guys off that off. And I'll show you in the shop where it is. Oops, stop, stop, stop. Oh. There we go. Right, so in the store, like I said, there is gonna be two of these coming. One's the, the small one that I've got. It's gonna be under the PV mod stuff, and it's gonna be in storages. And obviously I've kept it very, very simple, just kept the the shell logo for the store icon. So obviously the one I've got here is the slightly smaller one, which is 165,000, which I think is quite reasonable. Yeah, that's not too bad. Obviously it's gonna have the as um, asphalt texture when you do place it down initially. So obviously I've just gone through and repainted it. The second one is gonna be 265, and it is humongous. Um, I'm not going to actually place it down. I'm trying to find a spot to show it off a little bit better. It's not that easy. But there we go. They've got a bit of a field there. There we go. So that is going to be roughly it. Obviously, you're going to have the fuel station on one end where you can unload your fuel as normal with the tank. And then, obviously, you are going to have a parking area around for your vehicles on one end, trucks on the other. But it's kind of that... Um, the truck area, and what kind of maybe individual um, ones like that? But yeah, you can use that as well. It was obviously up to um, Team Miller was kind of after a storage for his fuel. I like that. It's cool, isn't it? The it one, is. Yeah. One thing I would say as well, um, I did mention it on Wednesday stream briefly at the end. When you place it, what you might find is it'll be slightly raised up compared to the rest of your landscape. So just go around the outside and just maybe just tidy it up. The main reason it is on e one end here, if I can actually get it to a level spot, you can just about see that there's actually ramps going on and off. It, ca it kind of goes a bit weird with that part. So yeah, just a little word of warning, but yeah. If you want to use it, you're more than welcome to. Obviously, I've just used the, the actual station itself part. So, yeah. I think it's really kind of nice. I like it. It fits in my little spot right here perfectly. I've been looking for something to go in this area. And this just fits perfectly. Obviously, I've added the landscaping and a little bit detailing and stuff. But, yeah. So, there you go. Obviously, both are the same capacity. But, yeah, something I want in here is like a little truck base or something. Need to find someone make me own, I think. Obviously, that has now been mm -hmm. sent off to Mr. Dave as well, who's going to obviously add it to the downloads. Mr. T. Miller's got it already to try it out for us. And so far, no bad reviews, should we say. So, there we go. But yeah, it's mostly little updates coming this week. Um, could, the other one was obviously the Orchards. Let me go this way, it'll be easier. Take a little little detour around the map. Obviously I've not got too much work to actually do currently, field work wise. Just got to finish off rolling a couple, which we'll go on in a minute, but might as well show you guys a few of the updates that are coming for this week. So that is one. Do 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 Yeah, using a wheel is so much easier with these, some of these trucks. Nice one. Shame I can't drive this well in ATS, that is for sure. I tried playing last weekend and I just keep thinking crashing. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what's going on. I think I need to go through all the settings and stuff. Just seems very... See, it's too sensitive or not sensitive enough, if that, I'm not sure. Road. Yeah, they've got 
that field, no, that one's finished. Which one was I doing? Oh, the two cords, okay. That's where I got to. So I'm guessing you haven't done much map work then recently, then, Mr. Dave. You're guessing correctly. <laughs> I'm actually uh, going to do a map making stream today. Ah, cool. Actually, one thing so I've we'll been trying try to figure out, figure out is um, getting the pallets working on the home storages that we had in 19. And no matter what I do, they just ain't freaking working the same as the factories. So I might have to contact Braven at some point and see if he can help out our Archie Mobile. Uh, what are you? Tr which ones? What? So Ooh, you know the uh, the smaller storages that we had on nineteen, like the product yeah. pro product storages that had the pallets spawning. Obviously, I, I've converted yeah. the buildings already, or at least one of them yeah. probably. And I've been trying to add in the pallet viz. So as you put your product in, the visuals come in. The only problem is yeah. they're actually showing um, already there before you put anything in. Even though I've set all the XML up the same as everything else, all the factories, well, obviously I'm using the silo, object, display, or whatever it is. And yeah, it's just not working quite right, so I have no idea what's going on. Uh, right. sure. But yeah, I'll keep trying anyway. So obviously, the, one of the other big updates that's coming is going to be to the orchards. I know Dave's not a big fan of the displays, but tough. <laughs> As you can see, you can actually use the. the I didn't say cards. I was a big fan. <laughs> I was just saying that I don't know how necessary it is with those nice full billboards. <laughs> oh, so you can Stop use that. these ones if you want to. Obviously, I've just placed that one there on the fence. It looks not too bad, but obviously, this gives you an idea of what um, is in there. If you didn't want to add that, obviously, I did add a display to each input and output product. I'm kind of pleased with myself actually. Um, should be. I am. I also obviously went through, added the palette visuals for your uh, fer solid fertilizer, your lime, your herbicide palettes, which is kind of nice. I mean, they're all working. Obviously, each of the output products have their own little bay with their displays now. Also, you've got your palette, empty palettes there. The only thing I might actually do at some point, maybe for the next map, depending on how. Um, Dave feels about it. It's actually going through and redoing the shed areas because for some reason mine came through with grass all the way through the sheds. I don't like it personally. I'd rather have maybe a concrete or something there, personally. Gravel. I don't know. Um, anyway, so yeah, each of these bays is a different product. Obviously, as you can see, you do have your palette visuals there. You can't pick these ones up, they're just visuals, but it does show the content capacity. Um, so, actually, if I do this, you can actually see where all the different pallets are. Each, Like I said, each bay is a different product. You've got five on that side for your output products. And there's six on that. It's a little bit glitchy. I apologize. Thanks for the sub! And Mr. 2x2 Ministries, thank you very much for the subscription. Wow, for two months. Nice. Thank you very, very much. Um... If anybody didn't catch my Wednesday stream, what I've actually done is just clipped the or done a highlight of the last 15, 16 minutes, which should be in my Twitch, which you can watch at any time. I've also uploaded it to my YouTube to check out um, what it actually looks like when they're all there. Because I did set up one orchard with one all of the products. It's 11 products in total. Um, and obviously it just shows on each, but you get an idea anyway, it's going to be um, like your apples, your cherries, your bananas, your pears, the whole lot are in there. It looks kind of nice, but obviously if you don't want to use these, you can just don't update the orchards and just use them displays if you wanted to. And obviously I did add one to the water as well. So you can literally see every product and what the capacity of it is. The other thing I did do, there's two things, additions. So I've moved the spawn trigger for the pallets, which I'll do in just a minute. And also the trans the teleport trigger as well. Um, let me go into here. 
Now, unfortunately, I haven't actually got enough to do all. But you're going to get two rows either side. One just there, where those pallets are. And then it's going to carry on on this side. So you can actually, if you have an orchard with each, what, all the 11 in it, you can actually spawn up to 40 pallets out of these, by the way. Checked it on um, Wednesday's stream. Yeah, it's 20 down one side, 20 down the other. So, yeah. So, plenty of space still to get in. And I think they're a lot easier to access actually being there now as well. Which I will come through and grab them at some point. Um, so, that's the orchards. The other one was the vodka factory. Um, that was the only other thing that I have updated recently. Um, adding in some visuals just to finish it off really um, obviously if you haven't seen it yet obviously it is the oh heck Smirnoff vodka factory and I'm right around the back obviously you got your trigger there for your potatoes obviously I've added your empty pallets on the outside here this does need a lot more points to it um, on the first level there you're gonna have your sugar coming in as I don't think there was anything else. Was it just sugar on this one? Yeah, just sugar on there. On the upper level, it's kind of nice you can still go up here. Let me just get rid of my little funky lines. There you go. Up. If you can walk up here on the t upper floor. Unfortunately, I haven't actually got anything to show. But if I do this, up here is going to be your fruit input products. We're going to be sp spotting the vi pallet visuals. Hey, Mr. Michael. Um, I did add an extra one for the cranberries as well. Obviously, I know that's a crop that you get off the, the fields, but I felt that it needed something added just as a visual. So you'll have your different fruits up top here. While I was actually in the i3D, I did go through and fix the trig um, load and trigger in here because it will now do your pipe visuals as well the, s the smoke and stuff so yeah all good and obviously if you got it set to um, store your pallets will actually spawn um, visuals in here once you've got a capacity so yeah there you go guys that's pretty much it for me catch you later bye ah only kidding yeah right yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've really done this this last week or two. Ah, uh, whoops, here we go. Right, and back to work. So, how's Mr. Michael doing? Um, actually, the only other thing that was updated, I don't think they've released it, was obviously an update for the Stone Crusher as well. I fixed the um, loading effect on that. Um, Not yet. I didn't update anything. Actually, while I'm over here, this is something I've been working on as well this week, is my pig and cow area. I've just basically redone it, added two extra pens, so I've got one pen for each of the different types of pigs. So obviously once they start producing baby pigs, I can start getting them shipped off to the butchers. Um, ba -bam. Added plenty of trees in, because I do like trees, and then in my cow area. I've redone them as well, so I've got one pen for each type of cow. Now set up back to back. So I sort of drive up one side, down the other, to fill them up, top them up when need be. And obviously added some sheds and stuff, so yeah. Not too bad. One thing I did find out is these manure pits will actually hook up to two cow pens, maybe more, depending on the distance. So as you can see here in the little box in the bottom right there that says the manure heap extension extension don't know why it calls it because of that it's not um, the bottom two there actually states which pens it will connect to so if you actually re rename your pens you can actually see whether the manure pits you have are connected to just one or two or three or four also mine seem to be connected to two which is kind of nice there obviously I did the same on that one there, they, that basically hooked up to both um, cow pens on that side. 
Yeah, it's getting there, definitely. Obviously, I ch moved my little field access over there. I had tons of manure, so I ended up um, uh, covering my grass field at the back there with manure. I still got a little pit left there. But yeah, definitely getting there slowly. A little bit of access either side there. I do need to sort that out still, because it's a little bit of a bump there. So let me take it from probably this side. Uh, after I did the cows and the pigs, I went through so much mon uh, money in game, I just ended up back downloading the um, cheaty mod for doing landscaping and baiting for free. I'm terrible. You are terrible. Yep. It's He's terrible. Cost. Especially with, uh, no offense, but the, when you're doing like the grass over grass, it's costing you a blatant fortune if you're just tidying little bits up here and here and there. I don't think it's ridiculous. So, yeah. It's not going to be staying, that is for sure. I just wanted to at least have a bit of a break from having to fork out for money on a low time. Too bad for the looks of that. It's a little bit smoother. Yeah, I'm happy with that for now. I don't use this come usually come this way to be honest, so but yeah. It's the farm is slowly getting there. Well, I'm on to like year eleven now, it's still coming on nicely. I do want to get some more bigger fields in at some point. But for now it's plodding along. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, doing well, my sleep is a bit discombobulated. That's a big word for you. Due to the power going out last night. Oh, well, that's definitely not good. Not good at all, Mr. Brighton. Um, I'm still waiting on my poplar to become ready. God. I'm kind of hoping to be ready by now and I could get um, harvested, but it's just taking forever. Come on! Saying that, it's got a pretty good yield on it, so I should be pretty well off that. Got the me little baler there waiting. God. I don't know. Yeah. Getting there, that is for sure. This tank part up over here for now. And go. Let's grab you a minute. I'll go put you away. Then I'll get on and do a bit of field work. Finish off my rolling. You know what I'm doing? I don't know if I want to know. Eating? I'm making a, sa I'm making a saddle for my donkey. Oh. A saddle for You can donkey. ride the donkeys. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, they got saddlebags. They can, they're for hauling. That's what I need to go to the mine with. Yep. Take my donkey up to the mine. I wonder how much weight they can hold. Can't wait to find out. Yeah, I re-added in the animated object. Like a little bit easier. I uh, just need to figure out where I want to go. That's the tank. That bay there. Kind of want to redo my little logistic area here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it though. That's the only thing. Come on.
Cool. Right then. There's that, there's that. So, I was... Nope. Wrong tractor. Where was I? There. That's the one I want. Hey, Mr. Culp. How you doing, buddy? And how are you getting on with PV County? Yep, we've got Mr. Dajnet and Mr. NBC in chat with us in Discord. It's kind of nice to have Mr. NBC actually around for a little while. Yeah, I'll be leaving shortly. Oh, okay. So uh, I take it you've got a few days off of you or something? I do, I do. Oh, cool. Yeah, got a four day weekend. Oh, that's nice. Very, very nice. But yeah, if you're just joining us, Mr. NBC did mention that he did push an update yesterday to NBC Acres. Make sure to grab the mod folder switcher, get that downloaded. It's an awesome map, jumping back and forth between it and PV Wall Creek. Cool! Yeah, definitely one of Dave's best maps, is, that's for sure, is, Mr. Uh, is PV County. And as you've seen from Mr. T. Um, Miller's stream the other day, obviously the Shell fuel sta station off of PV County has actually been now converted to 22 and will be added to the download pack. Actually, what I think about it as well, there was something else, one other mod that I did add to the um, send over to Dave. I don't know if he actually realised what it is. I didn't look at anything yet. Okay, um, well, it's not going to be under the PV mod stuff, um, and it's obviously up to Dave whether he wants to add it in as well. Um, but it was something that Mr. Reaper wanted. Thanks for the 19. sub! And thank you, Viking Streaming, for the resub. Um, oh, um, for eight months. How are you doing, buddy? Let me give you guys a shout out a sec before I jump in. Do a little bit. You can actually see it in the screen there. Um, let me do this first of all. Make it nice and easy. So, there you go. Make sure to go over. Check out Mr. Cope, who's also a streamer tries to do his best but he's getting better I will say that he is doing pretty good so far as a streamer wise just needs to get a few more people in there chatting and stuff make sure to follow him and go say hello when he does stream also Mr. Viking stream in there there we go give you a shout out make sure to go follow him as well he's an awesome streamer um, if you're Danish he will speak to you in Danish if you're English he'll speak to you in English so Definitely do it. You're very, very welcome, buddy. And I'm doing pretty good, thanks. So, yeah. Wait. What? But if, what if I'm English and I speak Danish? Can I? No. You can try on. both if you like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Did, is there a mixture between Danish and English? I don't know. Uh, God knows. So, I don't um, know. Yeah, it's an interesting one. So, obviously, a couple but there's, of... yeah, go for it. there's things we call Danishes here and English muffins. So yeah, I like the Danishes. I like both of the, 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 mm, Tasty there. So yeah, they are. Sorry. Something Mr. English Reaper muffins. wanted um, a little while ago. Um, you follow both. Cool. Thank you very much, um, Jeb, Mr. J. Um, Billy Six Wood is stacking in the song. Are you gonna show us something? Because I have to use the bathroom. Yep. So for anybody who remembers it, in '19 we had the global company Seed Maker. Oh, see, Mr. Reaper wanted it to go in um, as well. Oh, the individual seed maker? Yep. So what I've actually done is I've actually gone through, I've actually converted it for him. I've added some palette visuals. That's what's in the little box. It only puts out the loot, um, a bulk product out of the pipe rather than the pallets um, to make life a little bit easier for you guys. Um, obviously, I have added that to Dave's packet um, that I've sent over to him. Um, obviously, as you can see, it will take your corn, your wheat, your barley, all the usual grains, and it'll make your seeds as simple as that. Cool. Yep. All right. I got to use bathroom pack. Okay. So now that he's disappeared, what I will show you, because obviously the reason Mr. Um, Reaper mainly wanted this is, actually I haven't even got one myself yet, is to go together with obviously these two guys here. So... As you can see, it's basically the same machine. Obviously, I would, I wouldn't have 
maybe put the pallets on the back, but oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, it was mainly to sort of ma marry in with these guys here. Actually, I've got enough to put them down so I can. So there you go. While I'm here, I can actually pop over and show that off a little bit. Hello, chickens. So obviously, you got these two currently already in the pack. Obviously, once for your liquid th fertilizer. Yeah, well, obviously you've got your herbicide, and then obviously you're going to have your seed maker. So I've left the label as it was for 19. Obviously, pipe is going to be where your output is going to be coming. So I did add some pallet visuals, as you've seen there, just here. So as it fills up, the pallets will visually show. You cannot pick them up or spawn them out. For some reason, there's an issue having both, both of those options there. I'm not sure why. I might have a look and see if I can do anything with that. Um, obviously, unloading wise would be right here. And then, obviously, pick up from the pipe. Um, obviously, there you go. So, you got your wheat, your barley, your oh, rye, sorghum, millet, rice, and corn. 100,000 litres of each capacity wise. And then, obviously, currently it's 42,000 litre capacity for the seeds. Um, obviously in 19 I had the herbicide, but I thought, well, why do that when you can just shove the seeds in and get it all out if you wanted to. So there, that's coming as well this week. Uh, oh. So I think that's everything really now updated. But yeah, there we go. But yeah, like Mr. Dave said, obviously there's probably going to be lots of little tweaks over the next I don't know couple of months until the next map comes out oops didn't me do that one I want to do that one there we go when nature calls you know you gotta yeah. answer you gotta go when you gotta go right, let's take that up there we go so there you go so yeah nice little one to be honest I don't think I ever actually used the seed one in 19 but it does look kind of nice there we go Anyway, back to my field. So, yeah, I think that's everything now. So, the seed maker. Orchard. That. And then, obviously, the updates to. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think that's everything now. So, obviously, Mr. Dave will be going live in just over an hour's time. And from the sounds that he's going to be doing a bit of a map making um, stream. So, for any of you keen map makers definitely will check him out in a little while actually there was something that Mr. NBC um, mentioned about the other day and that was the, the Grim Potato Pack Palette uh, Package Palette Pack Packet oh what you call it thinking Bob it came out the other day obviously um, let me see if I can find the bleaking thing. Go, 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 go. Um, uh, is it grim? Yeah, so it's this stuff here. It comes with like this little um, table for filling up your cart boxes and stuff with potatoes. I actually did a little test the other day. I added some um, carrots to it. And I'll let you one thing know is it worked bloody well, that is for sure. I have got all those. I did up the capacity though to, to maybe 10k per pallet. But yeah, it worked perfectly for doing carrots. Obviously, it is main, made for mainly the potatoes. So if you wanted to box up your potatoes, you're more than welcome to. But yeah, it definitely worked pretty well for that. I keep getting freaking distracted with things. And how you doing, Mr. T. Miller? How are you going to make a solid fur of this seed maker? That way we can have seed fur. Um, I don't know. Obviously, that was just a conversion from the global company one that was in 19, so... That was added to obviously the PV pack. Where the heck are you? There are. 
if there's one, um, I will have a look, maybe, so don't know. Obviously, there's a solid fertilizer one, you could just use the process station. Obviously, that does obviously the seed as, a seed as well as the solid fruit. But yeah, doing good, just thought, alright, okay. Yeah, was, the only reason I did that seed one was because um, obviously Mr. Reaper obviously wanted that one rather than the process station. Um, I can get why, obviously it does match in obviously with the liquid fertilizer and the herbicide one a little bit better. thought well as I've got it I might as well um, release it to everybody obviously I think Reaper was using it in 19 I don't know if it was actually part of the PV County pack maybe who knows my brain's gone dead um, all right Mr. J um, let me oh, hang on a sec give you another shout out obviously make sure to go over check out mr. 2x2 two two guys he is going to be doing a charity stream later on today tonight um, da, da, da. there we go do it the easy way there you go so make sure click on the link give him a follow and who knows obviously mr. T Miller as well actually while I'm at it I should give you a shout out as well um, is currently doing um, uh, some fundraising for the whole month of September which is for a great charity the Ronald McDonald um, charity da, 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 da. yeah there we go there you go it's for a freaking good cause if you haven't checked it out on his discord is the reason why chose that charity um, it's a bit of a long read but definitely well worth reading it and if you do have anything spare to maybe donate towards the um, fundraising anyway so if not go over support his channel at least give him a follow if you're not already following him and easy. You are very very welcome Mr. T. Miller and obviously Jay. You both guys are doing some awesome work at the minute for raising funds for very good charities and such and stuff. Actually I'm wondering what Mr. J's charity is. I don't often get to see his streams because they're quite late. He does a lot of work with the homeless and such. So definitely go over, check out two by two. Make sure to say hello to him as well. See if we can't get him up to I think it was a affiliate he's still trying to do. Same with Mr. Cole out there. Both try to get to Twitch affiliate at least. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Headland for now, so I'm gonna go up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. But just to let you know as well, all these mods are meant for obviously like PV Wolf Creek, Volcano Island, stuff like that. Obviously, the PV SGA maps, 
whether it be by, by Dijonet, JD Fan, um, NBC himself. They're not really intended for other maps, however, some of them will work on other maps. I'd like to say, for instance, the Shell, um, placeable that I've done today or this week. That can go on other maps. The only thing is that the categorizing of it will reset to a default. So I'd rather we really keep them on those maps and not anywhere else, guys. Yeah, I've had a few people asking, oh, can it go on another map? No. Nah. Yes and no. Obviously, the factory production-wise, no. It can't, because obviously a lot of the pallets are built into the maps, and yeah, it's a lot of hassle to sort them out for general map work, really. I suppose on other maps, unless you know what you're actually doing. Getting questions if fish mod on the mod hub will work on the maps. Yeah, um, no idea to be honest. As far as I'm aware, it should work fine because obviously it adds the products into the map. We haven't hit our limit yet on the fill types, from what I understand. So, yeah, just download it, give it a try, and you never know. It should work. Oh, uh, close. That was very, very close. Um, how do I store resin on 19? Um, there should be the cogent storage, yeah, which is for you, like your um, sawmill production stuff. That should have your resin storage. Don't think there's anything else set up for a resin. Apart from the logistics store, um, storage, warehouse, that was the only other one as well. I might have to do um, an FS19 PV County stream at some point. Hey, Green Thumb Farmer, how you doing, buddy? Bowser Logistics. Yeah, that's it. Bowser Logistics, that's what. What's up? What's interesting? Uh, I'm fighting with Satisfactory right now. Ah, okay. Bulk and apparently Satisfactory, satisfactory is winning. Yeah, I just lost 344 hours worth of game Ow. with their new update. Oh. Their, their new patch, and then I just saw they're pushing another one now. Um, when it saves, it's causing crashes. Oh, crap. And the latest one won't reload. And I've gone back six, and it won't reload. I don't even know where the save games are saved, to be honest. <laughs> In the oh, save oh, game oh, file oh, under oh. app data. Under app data. Put you on hard help, I want to see because I've looked everywhere and I cannot find it. What so, save games? Yeah. Oh, so um, let me close this. Um, do, so what do, was it? Do. Bulk Exit. Liquid storage would take it. Yeah, if you've got any bulk um liquid storage tanks, you could use that. Uh, you're doing good. Yeah, the bulk liquid storage. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So is, is that like um? documents that one or would it be on your so if you go pc somewhere? yep go to your c drive yeah then go users click yep. on your name yep go to app data uh, it'll open up three files it'll say local local low and roaming i haven't got an app you want to go to look i haven't got one you don't have app data no nah. Okay, you have to go in. You'll have to watch uh, on YouTube how to unhide your hidden folders because it's in a hidden folder. Oh, okay. That's why I could. Yeah, app data is a hidden folder. <sighs> that. Oh, then I yeah, then you go local. Then you go factory game. Then you go in there. I 
did that for Kev. He hit a folder. And I've... Uh, I'll have to... Okay. Okay. I will have to have a look at that later. Because obviously it mm -hmm. keeps coming up obviously in game saying go to app data, blah, 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 blah. But obviously I can't bring that. So yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's because the app data is a hidden yeah. folder. Okay. I'm sure Dave's map is going to be awesome, but I'm loving PB County. If their game engine could let them remake the map, everyone would play it. Yeah, I know a lot of people actually asked for um, Dave to bring PB County to 22. Obviously, he has mentioned quite a few times it wouldn't be quite the same. So, obviously, this is why he's creating. His new map. Um, why is that turned this up off? And thank you very much for the follow. All Mill, I think that is. Much appreciated for the, the follow. Um, how you doing today? So yeah, I, as I was mentioning, obviously Dave doesn't really like going back to old maps. He likes to create new stuff. But obviously, one big thing is obviously with PV County, all the placeables that or the factories were buildable for the most part a lot of that at the moment can't be um, really achieved properly see I know he's going to be trying to f a few things out to try and get those buildables back with the next map that he's currently working on so fingers crossed on the map side of things It'd be kind of nice if we could get that into placeable as well um, that isn't built into the map, so we'll see. That's the whole reason it'd be a completely different experience, to be honest. I think this new map, design-wise, is going to be better. Mm. Like, just my opinion. Yeah. However, feature-wise, we got to see what's coming. Yeah, obviously, one big thing that we are waiting on is, like, Mr. Braven for the production revamp update. Um, to that, to add a few um, invisible nodes and stuff, or was it reverse production or something? I can't remember what the heck it was called now. Um, so it's kind of like reverse palette visuals, as it were. So once something's there, it can be just taken out afterwards. Um, but the, yeah, the things like. Um, oh, heck. What was I going to say there? Obviously, Rocky Fields, that'd be a nice one to have back in as well. Obviously, that's another one that's kind of up in the air at the minute. Getting the boats working as well, that's another thing. So, yeah. Obviously, I do know that the Yukon Valley map has boats on it. That seem to, that do look like they're floating on water. From what I can see, it's actually on like a, a water plane or something. It's just set slightly below it. Or collisions, what you will call it. There. But yeah, he's got the barges and all those other boats in there as well. Might be worth looking at that, Dave. If you can't get yep. the old script to work. I'm sure you can figure something out anyway with the boats. Yeah, it would be different. I need to see Mr. Green Thumb Farmer's comment. Oh, okay. Um, oh, there's a mod on the in-game mod hub. It's a drop down um, store. Oh, there it is, right there. Shed with hydraulic controls. Have a look at that. Um, let me jump over to the desktop to show you what I mean. So this one just here, this has a um, a level on the bottom that actually lowers down. Oh, see, this was in 19. As you can see, that actually drops right down. And there's a natural bay underneath as well that you can use for storage and stuff like that. Maybe have a look at how they've set that one up. Give you an idea. Basically, all they've done is, from what I understand, is added a 
layer that's below that height, the main height. So I've got multiple layers. Get out and try. Or the other thing, if you've got any of the PV stuff, look at the. Uh, ba -ba 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 My brain has just gone dead today. What's going on? Have a look at. At, at, at. Brain dead? Yeah, have a look at my brain while you're sometime. Um, the landfill. Because obviously, yeah, there you go. Obviously, that has the indentation. Yeah, have a look at that. That could give you the... If you have, like, a storage underneath, have a look at that. Yep, there you go. So, all these as well has that same option. Obviously, you'd have, I suppose, one layer um, set at ground level and then have just that other one slightly smaller underneath. Uh, any money in here? Any gold? Any gold? There's some melons there. Ugh. Smells around here, don't know why. Yeah, have a look, look at them and see how you get on. Alright, Billy, it's been a blast, but I've got to go do some running around, so I will catch you all later. Alrighty right. then, boss. Have fun. Oh, and you. So that, that, um, that'll be your clear areas, I believe. Um, so obviously you'd need to set up two, your main one, and then set up the second one as a child of that, if that makes sense. Probably the best person really is um, Mr. Dave, because I know he's done all that himself. I, I don't think I've ever done multiple levels or something, so... Yeah, I know Dave did do, um, obviously the landfill, but I don't think... Um, there was anything else that had multiple layers to it. So let me put that on hard helper, because that's going to be a bit curious for me as well. Desktop. Wolf Creek. Landfill. Seems to be the issue. So, Green Thumb Farmer is trying to create a warehouse placeable, um, but he, he wants to have like an area, like a storage area underneath it type thing. But for some reason, it's raising the part. Also. Yeah. You have to put, you have to dig the hole out. Um, Extract. A good example, like, yeah, you have to dig an area out for it. With uh, the level areas. But having issues in placing it is always raising the building, but the actual has. A... Yeah. Yeah, so it has a like a uh, bit at this set underneath the ground, but it's raising the building up too high. I want the building below the ground. That kind of sounds a lot like the issue that um, the landfill has occasionally if it's too close to the water plane. It'll ra basically raise up the um, fence around it. Uh, da -da -da -da. The quickie mark of county went down. Yeah, obviously the the tr if you look at the another one as well is obviously the quickie mark. Isn't that his quickie mark? That's currently out in the mod pack. That has obviously a bit that goes down as well. Let's have a look at this in a minute because I'm kind of curious. Uh, it would be a close level area. There's that. One. Yeah, so you'd need to set up two level areas. Alright, so let me jump over to the desktop. So for anybody, this is obviously the landfill I'm just quick, quickly looking at. We'll go back to the game in a minute. Um, obviously in here, obviously you have your, the main um, level set up here, which is going to be right about where the fence line is. 
for this particular one. So if I do this a sec, so let me create a plane. I'll put it to 10, 100. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll do about 50. So obviously you're going to have one plane set. Okay, so that's going to be the lower level. Then the second plane will be set slightly higher. I'll do that slightly smaller. 80 by 40. And we'll bring that up to the same level as you height wise. So it's a minus 3. So as you can see, there's actually two different separate levels on there. So what was that set at? That set at zero. So obviously this, the first one, will be where the fence will be placed once it is done. The, the second one here, level area, you can actually create that a child actually. Um, I've seen it done before where they're all in one node. As long as they're linked properly in the i3D to the XML, they should be fine. Obviously, this is going to be then that lower level. So, obviously, where the trash and all that is, this is where this is going to push into the ground and do it that way. Um, obviously, if it is raising your building up, like you say, it could be that it's just getting too close to the um, water plane and it's forcing it up. We'll see a few people on Uncharted have mentioned about that. In essence, what it's doing is pushing up that top layer where the fence would be up higher and it's making basically the lower level, the ground level as it were. But yeah, having that dip in, the in is a big of a bit of an issue. I don't know if there's an, an, another way around it, but that's obviously one way of doing it. the landfill goes low and yeah obviously you don't have to set it as low if, if you don't want it to but yeah obviously that is just using that as a reference really let's take you off yeah I'm not really sure I've never done it personally but obviously, like I said Mr. Dave would be the one best one to try with that question um but obviously having the two different levels, obviously making sure that the nodes are added to the XML should work, depending obviously the the, height, the water level, so I try and keep things simple. I leave the hard stuff to Dave. That could be what it is, is the level node. Yeah, try adding the, that second level node and see if that actually pushes it in. Obviously make sure that one set it ground level which would be zero. And then obviously the lower one would be minus like minus one point five or whatever it might be. You're happy there's no errors. Ah oh, yeah. I know with some of the um, base game factories obviously it's not going to be the levels of as um it's not the levels but it's like the clear areas will have like the main one and then they'll have like a um a second one like a child of it have a look and see how they've done that as well but you could probably do the same thing with the, the level area so you have your main one which is set at zero and then have the child set at minus um, whatever it might be, so it goes into the ground. Um, is NBC still here? No, Mr. NBC has actually exited and obviously gone to do some real life stuff. Hoppies. Did you have any issues? Yeah. So you have a level underground. <coughs> yeah. You're going to need to have a. Um, a like flange to cover around the building so you don't see the sides go down in i don't know if that makes sense like 
flange. Whenever you put something under the... Well, like a... Uh, a flange. A, Is that what it's called? A, like, <laughs> like a... Hang on. A, I know what you mean. A layer around, you know, like a... So like a concrete like, barrier or something. Like the wall type thing, like this. Around here. And yeah, something flat around it so that it covers the, the area that goes underneath. Yeah. That one doesn't, but the walls will go down in. If... Yeah, you're going to need... I mean, if he's going to have a building on top, you'll notice that it's going to slant the walls downward, so you yeah. got to have something that covers the edges. And the... Aldi building is a perfect example. Yeah, I haven't got the Aldi's done. That's rude. Because yeah. it has the ramp that goes down underground, but we build around it so that you don't see the edges. No, I don't want now, to if you have... The best example of it would be on Ubi County oh. in... So, yeah, so on... Basically what he's on about is... There you go. I'm just get it to raise up a little bit. See if I can turn around a bit. Well, on this end here, there we go. Obviously, you got the where it dips down. Obviously, what Dave's on about is having like that wall going around, so it doesn't show the underneath of the map. So it works fine when placing it with the V key. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because but the V key doesn't V key doesn't dig a hole. Yeah. Obviously, it's kind of hard to really show, but obviously it does have like a yeah. big, like concrete block going all the way from the front to the back there. And obviously, you do have that indentation. It just hides what's out there. Kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, Billy boards are sticking inside the building and not going to the other factories. Oh, so you do have to spawn them out, Mr. Culpin 19. They don't auto distribute or anything. So you have to go to each of the triggers and spawn them out, buddy. In on county. They didn't have distribution back then. I almost feel like jumping over to my PV county just to sh <laughs> So, yeah, if you go and. So this is just for Mr. Culp or anybody on um, 19 PV County. Obviously with the sawmill and all the other productions there, what you have to do is actually spawn out and transport the pallets yourself. Obviously with the sawmill and all the other sawmill productions, so like the pallets, um, yeah, yeah, the pallet factory, the barrel factory, um, paper and all that. Obviously the um, triggers, input and output triggers can be overlapped with that. So obviously you need to go to each um, trigger and spawn out the pallets from there. Or actually go into the global company menu and do each trigger manually. And obviously if they are overlapping they'll just drop straight into the input trigger for the next factory. So you can also move them by hand. Um, tell NBC I've gotten er four errors on NBC acres. Um, one for is the baseball, the bowling, the firehouse, the toy. Okay. Okay, Oppies, I'll let him know. Um, ba -da -da -ba -da. Just take a picture of that. And I can message him later in the groceries. Um, See the concrete is going under the ground. That is what I have on the building. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure then. Yeah, I've, I've always uh, ever you done like a single le um, height to be honest. Um, never dual ones. I'll have to have a look and see if I can figure them out as well. Yeah. 
Yep, I've got that OP. Um, check out my last stream on PV County, Mr. Cope. Yep, there you go. I was doing it in that stream. Yeah, there you go. Um, da -da 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 -da. Hey, Mr. Surf and Cowboy Gaming, how you doing, buddy? Um, but I'm gonna up the update will generate errors the first time. Yeah, um, save, exit, go back in and see if you still got those errors, um, oppies. There you go, too much to freaking read. It's a busy day, it's not good. And I need a drink as well. Dang. Oh, coffee. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to try doing a multi-leveled one myself as well, so I know what to do. Never done one before, I've always ever done a single layer. Not too bad, just woke up. Cool! Yeah, that's terrible. Put you on cruise control. Easier. Yeah, about 20 we'll be fine. Yeah, so obviously we're going to be going over to see Mr. Dajna in about half an hour. Hopefully it's going to be ready. Obviously there is, just a quick one for any of you guys just joining us. There is some fact sheets out already for Fact Sheet Friday again. Definitely well worth checking them out and hopefully Mr. Dave will be showing them off a little bit more covering what's going to be coming out obviously with the pumps and hoses along with a little treat I suppose is the best way on next week there you go thank you very much Mr. Miller for the shout for Mr. Dave make sure to give him a follow obviously he is the creator of all the PV maps such as Wolf Creek, which is the one I'm currently on at the minute. So he did Uncharted, Volcano Island, um, oh, and a whole lot of other maps going all the way back to FS13, if I remember rightly. Absolutely superstar. And thankfully he's been nice enough to allow me to get my little modding in as well. Helped me out a lot. Are you kidding? You're taking over for me in a couple of years. Oh, dang no. I don't do maps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go. You can allow, get NBC to do the maps and I'll do the, the, the production side of stuff. There you go. Placeables. Yeah, obviously I have been dabbling a little bit, obviously helping Mr. T. Miller there um, with a few things. That's probably my extent to map work. Moving a few triggers around, removing the odd tree here and there, that helps. Oh, I really need to figure out something to do with that area. Considering actually getting rid of those ho that, that little housing estate, the shed there in the distance, and making that just one big field. Uh, look into that next year in game though. Out of curiosity, Mr. Surfing Cowboy Gaming, just seen um, what you're last streaming. What did you think of um, Call of the Wild, the angler there? The errors are still there. Okay, okay, so we'll let him know. He's probably missed a uh, route note or something. Pathing. 
yeah, what did you think of the game? So I know Mr. Dave and Mr. Wheels have both been playing it. Who seem pretty okay with it. Just wonder what your view of the game was. If you're still there. Yeah, I'll, let, I'll definitely let them know about that, um, Oppies. Once we go over and see what Mr. Dave's doing, I'll, I'll shoot him a message. Just like somebody's shooting me a message. Is there any of this? Uh, what the doing? Oh. on Facebook messaging me. Is there a list for the factories? Uh, no. Um, Just go tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. Um, it's not Let's see. A bread factory produces bread. Yeah, you got the cereal. It does the cereal products. <laughs> um, oh, bless him. Um, <laughs> bad for a game that just came out. Definitely needs improvements. My mm. biggest gripe mm. is MP. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the MP needs some work, um, but it's not a gripe of me because I, I'd i rather have... If, if multiplayer was limited and not just public and limited to your friends list, that then I'd be down with it. But I don't want to jump in with a bunch of idiots. True. If I want to jump in with a bunch of idiots, I join this Discord. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that does stink a little bit, to be honest. But yeah, it's like um, you guys were saying the other day in yesterday's wheel stream is obviously a lot of these um, comments that have already gone up, they've only got like 20 minutes in game. Um, if that, to be honest. So they're not actually checking the game out properly, and you probably find that most of it is just quick look, okay, don't like it, move on to back to Fishing Planet or whatever, where they're comparing it against. And obviously, you do need to treat these games as individual games rather than keep compl comparing it against another one, or oh, this one does that, this does that. <sighs> but yeah, obviously any game, like any game, they all have their own little issues and I'm sure the developers will get on and throw you like lots of DLCs to add in additional content to it as well. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, and personally, this is just my, me personally. I I prefer real life fishing to fishing in a game. Obviously, I've got um, pla uh, fishing planet. Got about 16 hours into it, and I just cannot get my head into it, no matter what I try. I don't know why it just doesn't tickle my fancy. I suppose or something. It's a weird one. Oh, hello. Thank you, dear. You must have read my mind. Bless her, bring me a drinking. Oh, my phone's got a bit behind. It's terrible. Refreshing. Mind you, saying that, it's the same with, like, say, comparing Farm Sim 19 to 22. They're both good games. They both have their positives and negatives, but you can't really compare one against the other. Because they are their own individual games. Hey, <laughs> Who's 
seems like half of my glass battery is missing in the distance. <laughs> That's mad. Stop that. But anyway, guys, what are you, anybody up to anything good over the weekend? Apart from playing games. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually done some real life fishing, but yeah. Must get back out there. The thing is, I'm literally two two minute walk from the shore in the UK here down in the south. But yeah. Personal life. Seems to always get in the way. Again, and if you're right about the time of Mr. Day, we'll be going right live. Mr. Turtle Speed, how are you doing? I've seen you in Mr. Wheels' streams a lot. First time chatter here. Yay! Just some FS yard sales. Yard saving. I'm going to get some more tractors. Oh, nice. Very, very nice, Mr. Turtle Speed there. All oh, right, okay. I'm um, Cowboy Gaming. Yeah. Fortunately, I. I I can't buy any dogs here where I live. The council rule, unfortunately. Um, but obviously, I'll allow cats, stuff like that. And you can have like a guide dog, which is about it. Uh, doing good, Billy. Thanks, Mason. You're very welcome. Mm. That's alright. Try and make sure to grab everybody's comment. Um, when I was in the mall today, I saw. Someone who had a teacup chihuahua. Oh, wrong way. Dang it. Come back for that later. Oh, boy. Um, Let's see. Oh, boy. Really small. Yeah, they are very, very small dogs. They're, more, they're about the same sort of size as. I've got to say, a really big rat, to be honest. That's what they remind me of. Size of a chinchilla, yeah. Take yep, that's the, yeah. Definitely not my kind of dog, that's for sure. Give me something like a German Shepherd or um, a Husky, something like that. That's definitely mine. Dalmatian is definitely at the top of the list, but obviously they are prone to blindness and stuff like that. So hence why I got more the big fluffy. German Shepherds and stuff like that. I know my daughter would love to have a husky one day. 
one of our favorite dogs. Guess I gotta get ready for street. Yes, you do. Are you staying there permanently now, are you? Because I know you were staying about six months or something like that. Uh, See, so yeah, I can do things freehand occasionally. German Shepherds are your favourite dogs as well, are they? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's got to be the long haired one. Because you can actually get a good cuddle out of them. <laughs> the, 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 one of the reasons I say German Shepherds is actually when I was growing up, our next door neighbour was like um, the local gamekeeper. And obviously, he had um, German Shepherds back then, so it was something that I've, I've liked for quite a while. Also, my daughter, she sort of took it to the next level and went for Huskies. But I don't know, I suppose if we had our own place, we'd, we'd have definitely a couple of dogs. My wife wants an um, English Bulldog. Um, and call it Winston. God knows. God help me. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, chinchillas or rats. Yep. Said that I did grow up. Um, my parents they had a Jack Russell and a Jack Russell cross with a whippet. They were interesting dogs. Kind of sad actually is the Jack Russell got to about 11 years old. And obviously, when I moved sort of down the south in two years, uh, was it 2000, I think it was. The literally a few months after I left, the, the Jack Russell passed away. I was gutted when I heard about it because she always used to s come and lie down on my bed. With me at night and stuff like that, and just, just lie on my legs and so Now I just get freaking cats doing it. Right, so there's that. Let me grab. And ah, let's go for my new Holland this time. I'm going for, for a little drive around the map to show it off. And obviously, show off a couple of the updates coming this week. Ah, uh, yeah, so I was kind of got out with that. Um, ba -ba -ba -bam, labs, Great Danes, Massive, Mastiffs, yep. They're all nice little dogs. I oh, should say big dogs, actually. Great Dane, I know my wife had a Great Dane when she was with her previous husband. And um, called it Duke. That was a nice dog, actually. I've seen lots of pictures of it, and it was like the size of a three-seater couch type thing. Um, so what that probably is, uh, Michael, is I've got the Critters mod installed, and it adds additional sounds to the game, and there is one that's kind of like a, a buzzing noise. A rat terrier was it? The first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. But to be honest, that's about the only dog we had. Is Jack Russell's. Jack Russell. The pure Jack Russell was called Honey. The Jack Russell Whippet was called Andy. And unfortunately, we had to rehome him after we moved. Which is a shame. Don't know even what happened to him. To be honest, kind of miss him. He he was a nice little dog. You really like the crits mode? Yeah. Um, obviously, when it does get dark as well, um, you'll obviously see like fireflies in certain areas around the map. But it does add in additional sounds as well. So, anyway, right, so I've got a, a little drive around. So, some of the stuff is coming out this week for the update for the maps. Obviously, Seed Maker. Obviously, for any of you guys who have um, been in. Mr. Reaper's um, streams. You've probably seen this already. So you put in using your grains, you get out your seed. 
because it will be coming out of the pipe just there. So you have to convert that over. Dave's going to be adding it to the download for the maps. So you will get palette visuals coming in here. They will not be able to auto load or be picked up. It only puts out the loose stuff, so you'll need a trailer to get that, or you can put your scene maker directly underneath that. Um, see, when you do start this awesome 4x size map, you'll be actually starting in a different location to where I am at the minute. It's sort of right down the far end there. Obviously, I want to just carry on for my Elm Creek um, starter map. Yeah, especially at night. Kind of try and get the time to go on a little bit further to try and actually see some. But on here, I've very rarely seen any. To be honest, totally honest with you. But it's just really the sounds. It's kind of nice. You get different sounds here and there. Definitely more Americanized. That is for sure. You thought you were going crazy, so I suppose... All right, yeah. Dang it! <laughs> oh, I could have thought you were going totally mental there, Michael. Nah, nah, I'm not that cruel. Right, so... Down here, obviously this... The stone crusher. The big one. Which is just over there. Just about to see it. Obviously, the... Fill pipe has now been sorted out, so you're getting textures and stuff like that visuals when you're loading up rather than just filling up from empty space. So the big update is released for the orchards. Which I'll just quickly show you guys now for anyone who did who has missed it. So obviously the big big one is obviously palette visuals have now been added so once you add products in so once you're um, your fertilizer, your lime, your herbicide, even your pallets into these. Obviously, you're going to get the visuals now popping in. You cannot pick these up, but there is collisions there. It's just a visual to say what's in in there. Obviously, I've added displays now this week. That's the last thing I've actually done. So I'm not going to really do any more tweaks to this. I think it's pretty much done. So there is a display for the water. Obviously, the, the teleport um, trigger is now actually being reloc relocated into the center. That was something I forgot to mention earlier. Um, spawning out wise, there's two areas. It's going to be right in front of this set of trees where those pallets are. The second spawn will be in front of these tr trees here. You can do 40 pallets in total. And obviously, on each of these um, bays now, there is obviously a different product being stored into each and obviously it's going to display how much is in the storage as well um, I haven't actually changed the capacity I might see at some point if I can add a dish um, maybe a second layer because if I do this as you can see that there's at least one layer 12 pallets in total um, for the capacity of this it just matches in um, I might see if I can actually get a double stack or maybe more see how that's going to affect the frame rates I've tried previously and it did have a severe frame rate drop, but mm, I might be able to figure something out. So if you empty pallets and then each of these bays, as I mentioned, has different products in it. So that's my apples right there. Obviously these cannot be picked up either, because they are just a visual of what's in um, storage. And obviously you can five on one side, six on the other. And then obviously you can spawn your pallets out there. Um, actually, what I can do, if I jump into one of the others. What time do you have on your computer? I have... Right, you got about 10 minutes before you go live. I it's got... 6.49 for me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Why is my wall clock ahead? It's not like I... Right in the middle there. That's weird. Yeah, very weird. Usually when the battery starts going dead on a clock, it starts slowing down. Mine somehow managed to jump ahead about five minutes, and I just wanted to make sure my computer was right. <laughs> yeah, very, very weird. Um, yeah, so a, big up, a bit of an update to the vodka factory, like I mentioned before. We'll see it on the top level now. 
you will have pallets. Unfortunately, I haven't got anything in here yet, but obviously you're going to have five different products there. One, two, three, four, five. Showing, all in their boxes. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with some people's clocks. They're weird. But yeah, you got ten minutes for you. Um, in addition, while I was in there, I also fixed this pipe in here with the compost loading. It now now shows your the visuals properly, as it should have done in the first place. But I totally broken a few things. But we won't go there. Um, and then obviously the the last thing, big thing that's been added, is obviously. Mr. T. Miller's Shell Station. For any of you guys who haven't seen it, obviously it's, this is the smaller of the two, which is going to be the, cell, the station there, the little sign part here in the tank. Obviously this area here will be where you unload. It's basically a storage, this is. Um, so you put your fuel into there, but you can actually drive on in under here into the focal and actually fill up your tractor or your truck or whatever. If you want it to be lazy, like some people do, also if you go into the menu here, you can still purchase the fuel if you wanted to. And obviously the capacity is 250,000 litres, so it's quite a big tank under there. So, yep. Kind of like it. One thing, I don't know if Mr. T. Miller's still out there. I know you've got quite a few different mod packs and stuff. Do you or anybody in chat have um, a placeable truck parking lines? I suppose best way to put it. Kind of after a few to go in the middle here for parking up trucks in. We'll see, I haven't really found anything that's long enough for for that. Just these little ones by Alien Jim and stuff. I even look at that around out there. Got some nice fences added in here. Yeah, some long lines. Um, so, obviously, let me see. So, obviously, this shell, shell station will be under the PV storages. As you can see, there's one. That's the one I've got currently. 165,000. Obviously, you've got the bigger version, which I have an issue trying to find a decent spot to show it off on. Obviously it does have that parking bay as well for trucks so that I uh, might be able to get it there. You can just about see it all there. It is friggin' huge. Obviously it's kind of like that, the, the, the truck bay to the right there. It's kind of what I'm sort of after. Even if they're just proper straight ones. Yeah. Um, you haven't been able to find any... No? Okay. Obviously, that is going to be the bigger version of it as well that's coming out for any of you guys. I might actually just see if I can separate those lines or create my own longer ones. So That's kind of what I'm thinking. I might be able to, depending on if they're all linked to it, all the arrows and stuff in the i3D or the image file. Ah... Uh. But yeah, anywho, there's that, there's that, there's that. Obviously, if you guys got any questions, you're more than welcome to drop them in chat. Obviously, we are going to be going over to see Mr. Dajna in a few minutes' time. Oh, hello. I put... That's still on. There we go. Um, one thing I do still need to have a look at is obviously the trigger for the steel factory. Or the spawn trigger for the steel factory. Um... I haven't got around to doing that yet. Let's turn that up a bit. But yeah, I don't know why. Um, some people have had a few issues spawning these out. So what I might do is obviously go in and add individual smaller um, spawn trigger nodes to that so they actually spawn in without bouncing around like hooligans. Um, obviously one thing I will actually do is add some palette visuals as well on the inside here for the different products so as it's filling in you get them coming through that's fine um, 
still up and in about whether to add pallets to this area because it's kind of a small one. I felt it'd be a bit confined in 19. We'll see about that. Yeah, on oh, the steel factory. Well, actually, oh, both of these they both work. Yep. Yeah. Obviously, with the steel factory, for any of you guys who haven't seen it or placed it down yet, obviously, this little box here, if you walk up to it and hit the left mouse button, it, the pushers do work. And as you can see, obviously it should stop around about here. I'll pick all this up later, and then it'll go back. Obviously, I wanted to have a little bay, um, at least for the pallets to sit on for you to auto-load them on to. And thank you very much, uh, Farmer Bizkit, for the follow. That's an idea. Maybe. I know he did some small ones. I don't know if there was any truck ones, but I'll have a look. Um, yeah, so the pushers on that does work. Um, obviously, on here, it does have the pusher as well. I did set that back a little bit, so there is a little bit of a um, collection bay. Obviously, you've got the trigger right here. Obviously, just come over to the button box again there. Do the left mouse button, and obviously, that will push the pallets from the back to the front. Obviously, you get two rows spawning in there. It's a little bit slow, but obviously, yep, yeah, not too bad overall. If we had um, not auto load scripts that stayed active, could quite easily bring that back to the front and do it that way. And oh yeah, this is one of two factories that had to have the PV logo on it. I forgot I added them. That's so cool. I like them. I'm just trying to waste a bit of time. How are we doing on Mr. Dave? Oh, no. he is actually live. How rude. Dave, let me channel there. Two minutes thirty. Okay, two minutes thirty. Alrighty. Um, yeah. Try to find some long ones is kind of hard. Um. See, I did find some semi-long ones, but they're not quite what I'm particularly after. Um, decorations, others. As you can see, I've actually downloaded a fair few different um, placeable packs, deco, deco packs. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Where are they? have got the water planes. They're kind of cool, those little water planes. Um, see, we've got something like this, but it's not quite what I want. To be honest. Um, nope. No, definitely not what I want. Definitely not. Yeah. It's kind of annoying to be honest. Um, obviously you've got the alien gym stuff. Obviously you've got these lines, but I'm kind of after something like that. There's maybe two, maybe three times as long outwards. So the the lines would sort of come out. Yeah, so right out to about here sort of thing. But I ha haven't found any yet. I have to create something of my own. Eight seconds and counting. Um, okay. Unfortunately, on here, um, in the landscaping, it doesn't have the the black top with the lines. Obviously, if they had one of these, I could probably do something similar to that. But yeah, it's only got the black top. But anyway, guys, as you heard, Dave is about to hit his go live or go stream button. He's got 20 seconds left, so I better make this quick. So let me jump over to my ending screen, whatever heck it is, there it is. So a big, big, huge thank you guys for coming out today. And all right, make sure to stick around while we go and see what Mr. Dave is up to today. Big thanks for all the follows, all the resubs today. 
obviously for now anyway let's get this going da, 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 da. stay with me guys we're going we're going we're going Holy, come on three two one see you in a minute guys bye for now <laughs> 